Hello everyone, welcome to Manupatra's Law and Legal News Podcast. Let us begin with the news highlights for the 18th of October. Starting with the Honourable Supreme Court, the President of India has appointed Justice Dhananjay Yashwant Chandrachur as the Chief Justice of India with effect from 9th November 2022. He will take over as the 50th CJI after the incumbent CJI UU Lalit retires. Justice Chandrachur will have a term of over two years until November 10, 2024. The Honourable Supreme Court has dismissed a fresh plea by alleged conman Sukhesh Chandrasekhar to transfer him to Mandoli Jail where he is presently lodged to some other prison. The Honourable Court has sought responses from the central government and the Union Territory Administration in a plea against orders reducing the speed of internet services from 4G to 2G in several districts of Jammu and Kashmir. Honourable Supreme Court has upheld the Kerala High Court order of 2020 which allowed Adani Group of Enterprises to operate, manage and develop Tiruvananthapuram International Airport. The Honourable Supreme Court has rejected the claim of Hero Motor Corps seeking full budgetary support in lieu of pre-existing outprice excise duty exemption notified by the central government in 2003 in the pre-goods and service tax era. The Honourable Court, while considering that the 2021 Tripura medical elections are over and the results are notified, has disposed of the petition seeking issuance of directions to the state of Tripura to provide security to members of TMC, especially during the campaign of the municipal elections. Moving on to the High Courts of India, the Kerala High Court has directed the Kerala State Road Transport Corporation to inform on record that whether the single duty system has been introduced and if it has given any benefits, file a statement with specific figures and calculations. The Kerala High Court has asked for full details regarding the treatment provided to Kerala State Road Transport Corporation employees who sustained injuries last month when violence broke out in the state in connection with flash hartal called given for popular front of India. The Kerala High Court asked the state not to play a hide-and-seek game with the court by asking the state government to come clean on whether it wants resolution to the issue of putting up the illegal flag posts, borders and banners in Kerala. The Karnataka High Court has ruled that under Section 7 of the Karnataka Society's Registration Act 1960, once a society is registered with a particular name, registration of a second society with the same name is impermissible. The Uttarakhand High Court has stayed termination of several ad hoc employees of the Legislative Assembly and directed the Vidhan Sabha Secretariat to permit them to work and pay the remuneration as before. That is all for today. Thank you and have a great day ahead.